All right, this video, I'm going to hook up an Embrighton dual outdoor Wi-Fi switch. Basically what this is, is a pigtail. Uh, you plug it into an outdoor outlet. You could plug in an irrigation timer, outdoor lighting. Um, basically whatever you want to run on the timer on the outside. It's Wi-Fi controlled. Uh, it says easy app control, voice control, uh, Alexa and Google both enabled. Um, so we're going to open it up, uh, download the app, whatever app it takes, and set it up and see how hard it is to use. Alright, so there's a the device outside the package basically. Um, looks like it has an on off switch so you can manually override. This has two outputs on the bottom, which is kind of nice so you can run two different things. I'm not sure whether you can run your Wi-Fi. It's going to actually separate the two devices or not. Most likely it's just going to be on or off, but I'll find out once I get into the app. Um, and the instructions. All right, with most devices nowadays, as you know, you have to download an app to make it run. If you look on the instruction manual, there's a um, QRC code on there. If you take your smartphone and just take a picture of that, with an iPhone, all you have to do is mouse over it. As you notice, at the top it pops up, it says open in Chrome. You click on that and that will actually take you to the correct app so we're going to download mine from the app store if you were using a samsung device or an android you would download it from the google store and that way you make sure you get the correct app and the correct version for whatever you're using so once that's done downloading we'll probably have to create an account and we'll set it up okay so our app's downloaded i'm going to click open going to have to register, agree, and we'll have to do this. I'm going to set this up real quick. Basically, I'm just going to follow the instructions. If something weird pops up, I'll stop back and do it, but basically just follow the steps until you get the app installed. Okay, I went through the app. I went ahead and allowed the Bluetooth to connect. I went ahead and allowed the um, network to connect. Uh, so basically, I hit allow on everything. I allowed the device to use my location while I'm using the app. So basically what we have to do now is we're going to have to hit the plus sign to add a device. We're just going to make a hit got it to answer it. So we have no devices right now. So we're going to hit add device. We're going to plug in our device and make sure it's powered on and the LED indicator is flashing. So I plugged in my device. As you can see it's flashing on the front. So I'm going to hit confirm. It's an outdoor switch. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to pick my Wi-Fi. I'm going to do my password for my Wi-Fi. Once I click that, it's connecting. It's going to connect to the router. Once it connects to the router, the light should stop flashing. It may come on green once it gets done connecting. Depends on the device. There's my arrow saying that it's just joined my uh, network. So I know it joined my network. I've got a blue light on now, so I'm assuming that means it's connected. I hit next. Outdoor switch added successfully. Hit done. Add a custom name um, or a custom image. Now I want to do that. So leave the image fine. Location. Outdoor switch confirm. You can make that say whatever you want it to. Hit back. Off. On. So basically, it's working off the Wi-Fi now. It's turning on and off like it's supposed to. All right, once I'm in here, looks like I can do evening. I can schedule times to come on and off. If I want to come on at a certain time every night, I can do that. Uh, don't see a dust to dawn option. Yeah, I do. Dust to dawn, so you can do dust to dawn. Um, most likely it'll save your time and you can actually have it pull dust to dawn. Um, that way you don't have to worry about turning it on and off every night. Uh, there's a schedule, so you can do a seven day programming schedule if you want to, or you're going on vacation, or if you want to do three days a week. Basically set up whatever timer you wanted for it. Now what I don't see is I don't see the double output. So basically whatever you turn on and off, it's going to turn on both of them. So if you hit power, it's going to send power down to the left and right side. So basically you can send power two different directions, but you're going to need another switch if you want to actually run two different areas. Overall opinion, uh, first glance, this is the first time I hooked one of these up. Uh, installed super easy, app downloaded, no problems. Uh, didn't ask for a lot of information, email address, um, access to the network, access to your Bluetooth so you can set it up. Um, I'll let you know in a month or two if it fails. If uh, you never hear back from me on this again, basically the unit was working perfectly fine. Um, hope everyone enjoyed the video. I got this at uh, Lowe's. I'll put the link in the description below.